Hello, and welcome to Release Into Peace. This is the time of year when many of us take vacations. And we really look forward to them. And sometimes we get in a plane and go somewhere far away. Sometimes it's our car and sometimes um, it's a train. But it's a wonderful thing to be able to enjoy something new and to go somewhere new and to enjoy the beauty of that place. And today I was thinking that we don't even have to spend a penny to take an inner vacation at least once a day. And that vacation is just stepping back, stepping back into that pool of peace and allowing my thoughts to slow down. That's the first thing. And sometimes if I've had a very busy and perhaps stressful day, it takes a little while to slow those thoughts down. And that's why it's really good to take a vacation, maybe even once every hour, just to step back and tell the self something beautiful. Something like, there may be things going on on the outside that I feel I have no control over and that may seem a little troublesome, but I can step inside in this moment and experience my own inner peace. I am a being of pure peace. And I just stop for a moment remembering that. And I remember that regardless of what's happening, through my thoughts, as I become peaceful, I can radiate naturally that peace into the atmosphere around me the people, the activities, the responsibilities, in just a moment. And that way, I'm serving myself, but in an incognito way, I'm also 
serving those around me through my pure thoughts of peace. Another thing that can hold that peace for me during the day as I'm working and interacting with others is to think before I speak. And the questions I can ask myself are, is what I'm going to say necessary? And is what I'm going to say kind? Can I put it in a kindly way? And is what I am going to say true? So I can practice thinking about this when I'm in my peace, when I'm at home, I can think about how much do I want to say? And when I say something, is it truly meaningful? These are actually wonderful vacations that we can take. And what happens what can happen is that from those types of moments that I take, creating beautiful thoughts for myself, just even for 30 seconds, and then thinking before I speak to others, that my actions can start flowing in a way that are in harmony with those thoughts and with those those interactions with others, those words. And that when the words and the thoughts are in that harmony, then everything around us just seems to flow a lot easier and a lot better. And so it reminds me that my main focus when I choose to create a life of peace and harmony with myself and others, I focus that energy mostly 90% or more on my own self, not in a selfish way, but in a way of protecting my thoughts, protecting my being, protecting my peace. Because my first priority is myself. And so I forget about blaming, asking more questions about why is this happening? Who is to blame? Um, you know, I don't understand. 
Because when we live in this world of peace and harmony and understanding, those kinds of questions start dissolving because we're our energy level, our, um, our vibration is operating at a higher level. So you might enjoy taking a vacation at least once a day for yourself where you check your thoughts. And if you feel that you need to, you change them. Exchange one thought for another that resonates on your higher level of well-being. And then your words will flow in that peace and harmony And your activities will become divine, just like you are. You are a beautiful divine being. Thank you for joining Om Shanti.